Hello, in this video I'll start showing you how to use Maxima, the symbolic algebra manipulation software, uh, to solve problems in engineering. So if you're a student you can use these to check uh, equations on your coursework, on your projects. And if you're working with engineering design you can use this to automate some, uh, some type of analysis. So if you don't have Maxima installed on your computer, you can go to this website. You can just type this into your web browser. And this will get you to the WX Maxima uh, website, where you can see instructions to install it in Windows, Mac, and Linux machines. Once you have it installed, you can open a session of Maxima, and it will show up something like this uh, screen here. This is like an editor, you can think of it as an editor, where you can type in commands and it will show inputs and outputs. And you can save um, this uh, session or script as a WXMX uh, type of file. So you can use it later or you can use this script for uh, many times and so on. So Maxima is similar to a script-based uh, language where you can start typing commands like so and you can evaluate them anytime you want you don't need to compile anything and for you to evaluate um, something maxima remember always that you need to press control enter it's not just enter it's control enter very important to remember that so you see that if you type some expression it will evaluate that and give you the output so you can see the input and the output and obviously you can assign these to a variable so you can say that a is 2 plus 2 and you assign something to a variable with a column sign it's not the equal sign so again now a is 4 you can just type a it will tell you that it is equal to 4 and you can then use that in some other um, expression like that now, you see that uh, Maxima is uh, structured with uh, or using cells, so each of these block of input and output is a cell. You can delete a cell like so, just pressing delete, or you can create a new cell. Whenever you see this uh, horizontal line, you just start typing something and it will create a new cell. So, although you can perform uh, numerical computations like these simple ones, Maxima is much more useful, it's more common to use it for symbolic manipulation. So if you have some um, expression, any expression, for example like this, and you see that it gives the variable A in terms of these symbols, C, D and E, which can have any other uh, values for them and you can use these symbols to perform more computations on it something like that so you see that everything you do is based on these symbols you can try to solve equations you can try to substitute values everything based on these symbols so one of the most uh, common things to do is to solve algebraic equations for one of these symbols so first let's uh, see how to input uh, equations in Maxima. So for example we have a quadratic equation something like this and the first thing we do is to uh, take all the terms to the left side of the expression so it will end up with something like this and then we take only the left hand side of the equation we take the equal zero uh, away like so so this um, representation of an equation we can give a name for that so we can assign this expression to a variable and then it will be our equation and then we can manipulate it so as I said we can try to solve uh, this equation for x 
and that will give us the classical solution for a quadratic equation. Uh, if we have um, another expression, I'll just reset the symbol A so I can use it for something else. So if I have another um, equation, which is this one, and I can try to solve it for f, and that gives us some well-known expression like that. Uh, but I can try to solve for another uh, situation. So let's say I have the force and I have the acceleration. I want to know what is the mass for this situation. Um, or I can solve for a third situation where I have the force and I have the mass and what is the resulting acceleration. So, in short, Maxima is a very useful tool for symbolic manipulation instead of numerical computation. And you can use variables as most of any other programming language, but you assign expressions to these variables, and then you can manipulate these expressions in terms of its symbols. And also always remember that for you to evaluate a cell or an expression or a command, you type control enter, not just enter.